I said I was finished with this bike, but I lied, because nothing's ever finished. So, I've taken out the motor I was using, um, and I'm going to replace it with an identical motor, um, which I've partially prepared. And uh, since I've taken the original one out, I've discovered there's one more thing I have to do. So, while I'm here, I'll just do a little bit of how I converted. Now, the uh, observant will have seen what the difference is here. And uh, this is a 13 tot sprocket. This is a 6, six say it right, tooth sprocket. And what I've done with this one is I centre drilled and cut off the shaft. Um, this is a pinion gear for a mini moto type thing. It's the same 6H uh, chain, 6mm uh, chain. What is it called? I forget. I haven't ordered any for years. Um, so it's drilled, not with me drilling with drill, but with me turning this on a um, static uh, controller supply and having a, a drill just still pushing it. So it's nice and centered, it is spot on. I did do an interference fit, but it's, left hand, uh, it's right hand thread, normal, and when this turns, it will just unscrew. So it's been welded up and tidied up. That's it, finished. So uh, I drilled and tapped the two holes that I need here for the uh, Mickey Mouse tensioner and the uh, tensioner arm. What I haven't done, which I forgot I did the first time, is uh, take a bit of a chamfer out there, uh, which clears the, the frame. Right, so while I'm here, on the back side, this is the conversion. Oop, here we go. Right, so I'm going to leave that cover on because it holds the brush holder. But I did this one a little bit better. So what we've got is the brush holder has got uh, two terminals, one and one under uh, here, there it is there, that screw. So all you need to do is connect two wires to there. Now I didn't do this the first time because I was worried about whatever this was, but this is the regulator and it's got um, a lot of resistance so you can just leave it in situ, it's fine. Um, the only thing that came out was the rectifier assembly which is just three which way does that go three screws and uh, four terminal clamps which are one two three four so those are the the, the phases um, sorry about the camera work I'm holding the camera in one hand and messing about with this in the other so unscrew the four phase the the three phases and the the common uh, pull it off get two wires in under there. I've just uh, tinned the end of the copper wire. Um, and then this will hold in place because on this one it's got lots of hot glue and I wasn't that happy with it. And the only thing that really holds it in is this teeny little cover. So that's it. And then the phase wires have now, uh, this is effectively sort of two and a half mil. It's, a, it's an imperial standard. I think I might have stole it off my dad. He was an electrician a long time ago. Uh, and I've soldered that with, um, I just used a small gas torch. So that's it. That's how you convert one of these things. And then those three phases go off to the controller. 12 volts goes onto the, um, the rotor there. Uh, that's it. Finished. So I'm going to refit that with a 6. So I'll get a better primary reduction. I'll get 6 to 80 rather than 13 to 80. So the motor will spin slightly more than twice as fast for the same uh, power, uh, sorry, the same speed, um, which means I can now pedal um, and I can up gear my bike and this won't cog as much. It will also give me very good acceleration um, with the very low gearing that I've got and probably the lowest gear I've got would probably give me a top speed of 15 miles an hour but by hell it'll get there quick. Um, I hope that this doesn't shear off. If that shears off this alternator is fucked because that's welded in and um, you know there's not a lot I can do with that. 
really. But it is designed for a mini moto, which is a 50cc bike, which is whatever that is, three horsepower. This is about three horsepower, um, and it doesn't have uh, a piston engine with the extra pulse in, so, yeah. Well, we hope. We live in hope. What it will do is it'll overtalk the chain uh, by a factor of two uh, more than this one. So maybe that primary chain will wear out. Who knows? Who knows? Right, next video, I'll install this and um, I'll take this one for a run. It won't go any faster, and hopefully if they're exactly equivalent, they'll go the same speed. It won't go any faster, but it will spin faster and I can use a higher gear. So I may change my, um, my what is it, this one, the freewheel crank. I think that was a 22-32. What I may end up doing there is go for a 32 and find a 42 to put that on, or a 40, something like that. Um, but all the chain alignments, yeah, that was the key thing. All the chain alignments are exactly the same, so I'm just going to use that straight out um, <coughs> because that pinion clearance away from the body and that clearance away from the body is exactly the same to the millimeter, uh, the half millimeter even. So, um, yeah, it just should be a straight swap since I've taken this uh, this extra bit of chamfer out of there. I'll just bolt that straight up. That's uh, tomorrow's job because it's late. Uh, ciao for now. Bye bye.